Hi, I'm Kevin Dunnan. I'm going to show you a beautiful pork dish today, wrapped in Parma ham and a Parmigiano Reggiano crisp. And then we're going to serve that with a beautiful burgundy wine. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our fillet of pork, which we've got here. And we were very clever, we've got our butcher to tie those for you. So it's, there's four, four ties there, and that just kind of holds the shape for you. Okay, what you need to do then is you need to put some salt and some pepper on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that into our pan, a little bit of olive oil. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to caramelize the outside of the meat and seal the meat, keep the juices in so it's lovely and juicy. Okay, you want it nice and hot. Okay, basically we're just going to turn that, seal it on the outside. It'll take about yeah, three to four minutes just by turning it like that. In the meantime, we're going to make our, our stuffing. So you grab yourself a shallot, like so. Decide what wine to go, go with it. And I've chosen today a beautiful burgundy wine. What's, what's great about this wine, Pinot Noir, Mercury wine, it's really, really light. It works extremely well with pork. So we're going to just chop down our shallots, like so. Into our pan then, is we're going to put a little bit of butter. And today we're going to put our shallots. Again, a bit of salt, a little pepper. What we're going to do then is we're going to put our breadcrumbs into there. This is kind of giving you that lovely moisture around the pork. It's going to hold in all the juices. Okay, with that, pork now. That's ready. We're going to pop that into the fridge for about 15 minutes, just until it cools down. All right, so that stuffing looks about just about right. And it's time now to put that in the fridge. And while we do that, we'll take out the pork that's in there for about 15 minutes now. Yeah, it's nice and cold. Okay, what we need to do then is that we need to get our parma ham. Do you know what I love about this parma ham is like everything like this, it's, there's so much care and attention that goes into making this. So what we have is we've got two lovely slices there. We're going to grab our stuffing, place it onto the, into the center of the parma ham. Take one of our fillets of pork there. And we're just going to wrap that and then just with the, with the paper, you just want to give it a good squeeze. Make sure it's, it sticks together. Unravel pork. We're going to put that into the oven at 220 degrees for about 12 minutes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a lovely crisp out of this Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Okay, what you need is a hot pan, non-stick pan, very important non-stick. Okay, just grate some and same with the cheese. And just place it on the pan like so. I'm not afraid to use plenty of it. A little bit of cracked black pepper. Get yourself a tall glass or some sort of vessel like that. Okay, just let that cook for a sec. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some savoy cabbage. Just going to throw some butter. Yeah, grab your cabbage. Julienne cabbage. Plenty there. Get a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Turn that guy off, you can see it there, it's just kind of getting crispy around the outside. Put it over the top of your glass like so. You can just leave that sit and leave it to the side. That's going to get lovely and crispy and it's going to stand, stand up in the plate. So you're going to get loads of visual and it's going to be really, really high in the plate. Just keep that on a kind of a, a low temperature there, the cabbage. You just kind of want to wilt the cabbage, you don't want to really overcook it too much. Okay, we're going to grab one of the peppers. Now, we've roasted these peppers, so you just want to take the skin off. Okay, we're just going to do the end of the peppers. Pop that into the cabbage. Look at the colours in that, it's just fantastic. Just want to let that rest for a few minutes. Okay, if you get your serving plate then, you get your basket. Stand that up on the plate. You can see already, it's like really looking good. Now, this is where you have to be a bit, bit delicate. You don't want to knock knock the basket over. Just let that the cabbage and the peppers kind of cascade out of the out of the basket. There you go. A fantastic pork dish wrapped in Parma ham. Beautiful Parmigiano Reggiano crispy cheese basket served on Savoy cabbage roasted red peppers. Tell you what, you enjoy that? Well, I enjoy this beautiful burgundy wine. So to get more details on this recipe and other products from Discover the Origin, why don't you check out our website, discovertheorigin.co.uk.